my name is dr pisu patel professor college of agriculture parul institute vadodara gujarat today the topic is feasibility of biogas production from napier grass so here you can see the picture napier grass is attractive feedstock for biogas global warming from greenhouse gas had caused environmental impact especially from the use of fossil fuel heating and the electricity sector using of biogas was an alternative energy that reduced the amount of greenhouse gases napier grass I mean hybrid napier elephant grass also known is a attractive feedstock for biogas and bioethanol production napier grass is perennial species so help in soil conservation and it has become a priority source of biomass for alternative energy production in thailand as the national energy policy council has raised the target of power production from napier grass to 3000 megawatt under the 10 year alternative energy development plan for thailand hybrid hybrid napier can be harvested up to 5 to 6 time per year so it is a multi cut and also it is a perennial in addition to it can be fed to the animal it is the energy crop of the future because the grass is emission from the extraction of organic fuels such as alcohol methane and pyrolytic oil napier grass is specially stored for the production of biofuel and bio based products primarily due to its cellulose content 34.2 to 40% high per unit area drotrolum and homes a complete crop due to a good water use efficiency biogas is a economical alternative source of energy that will reduce the share of fossil fuel used in the transportation sector and productive industry reducing environmental concern caused by widespread use of these resources that is climate change and global warming and the energy source will increase besides the safety and power supply will also be improved nowadays biomass is responsible for 10% of primary energy consumption worldwide and can be used as a promising feedstock for biofuel production feasibility of biogas production from napier grass napier grass contain 30.9% total carbohydrate 27% protein total as 18.2% fiber 9.1% on dimatter basis its organic composition are an ideal feedstock for biogas production the fresh grass was harvested after five week plantation grounded in 0.5 to 1 mm diameter size before fermentation in mesophilic batch reactors with varying soil concentration at 5-15%. The optimum condition for the biogas production was found at 5% solid concentration. Methane content, yield and production rate were 53%, 122.4 mL methane gas TVS removed, 4.8 ml per hour at the optimum condition economic analysis of biogas obtained from the experiment with liquid petroleum gas with benefit cost ratio greater than 1 suggested that the napier grass is considered as potential energy crop napier grass is considered to be the fresh energy crop to be used for power production with a great potential the specific species that should best as energy crop is pakchong one means super napier hybrid napier harvestable five to six time a year and yield as much as 70 to 80 ton per year almost seven times more than other grasses so the potentiality of the hybrid napier grass is uh, more as compared to other other grasses its nutrition structure fits for the microbe to grow and generate methane gas napier grass can generate biogas generation at 
6,860 to 7,840 cubic meter per year that can produce compressed biogas with heating value of 14 to 18 mg per kg replacing usage of NGV by 3,118 to 3,563 kg per year. The results show that the wastewater concentration significantly increased the Napier gas biomass. Therefore, wastewater influent and influent from Kaseva industry can be used. Based on the result obtained from the experiment, it is evident that yield and quality of biogas produced through anaerobic digestion of elephant grass, mean IB Napier, or Napier grass can be improved through the use of liquid extract from pseudo plantain stem, mean banana stem, instead of water as the mixing pure. The biogas yield and quality were improved by 45.95%. And 33.95% respectively. Thus, productive use for the liquid extract, which is readily available after harvest, as well as efficient method of enhancing biogas production from elephant grass was found. So it is given in just agriculture recently in January 2022. There are many hiding Bayer Napier hybrids, APBN. Super Napier, Coim 2 3, Coim 2 5, Bajan Napier IB 3, Bajan Napier IB 10, IJ for I 5, IJ for I 10, IJ for 16, NB 21, PNB 233 are recommended to the dairy farmers in India for green forage production. They are recommended to plant with a spacing of 50 by 50 cm or 100 cm by 100 cm, mean 1 cm by only 1 meter by 1 meter in fertile part of land. At present scenario, the super Napier so promising and remain at the top for high green forage production for unit area and time. It produced the highest green forage yield of 300 to 400 ton per hectare in six to seven cutting in one year. And thereafter two and three year green forage yield is 250 to 300 ton per hectare per year. The first cutting will be taken after 50-60 days of planting and the subsequent cutting at, 20, at 45 to 50 days interval. So there is a great scope of super napier not only for round the year green forage production, but it is very potential for biogas production. In short, napier grass is fast growing, high yielding crop and highly nutritious especially so it is suitable for use as energy crop or biogas production. So we can see here the super napier, IB napier gas. Then on left side APBN variety, Andhra Pradesh by the napier one. It was the scene of the Anand Agriculture University, Anand Gujarat. Then super napier at NDDB farm, Anand Gujarat, National Dairy Development Board. It is uh, about only 20 kilometers from my residing place at Anam. Then Hybin APS super grass, fast growing and high yielding six year yield 500 ton per hectare, mean 5 lakh kg per hectare in a year. You can see the growth 59 days old plant are already about 10 feet tall. So the biomass is very tremendous and you can harvest huge amount of green forage and also you can generate the biogas. Then another variety, high napier grass going to 3, high napier grass going to 5, high napier, major napier I B 10, then high napier I J for I 5, then it is going to 21, it is high napier CO4. So, how the propagation take place of the hybrid napier? So, it is propagated to the uh, stem cutting as well as the rooted slip. So, here you can see that it is a stem cutting and you can propagate it. So, you can transplanting. I told that it can be transplanted by 50 cm by 50 cm 
or some armor transplanting at 60 cm by 50 cm or you can transplanting at 1 meter by 1 meter. So I have we have taken the photo from the NDDB super napier and this stem cutting of 100 is rupees 150 or 200. After the reaping and fermenting the age of 60 days old fresh napier grass, the NRA digestion process will result in biogas. Napier grass can generate biogas generation at 6,860 to 7,840 cubic meter per year that can produce compressed biogas with heating value of 14, 18 mg per kg, replacing uses of NGV by 3,118 to 3,563 kg per year. One metric of of napier grass can generate 90 cubic meters of biogas convertible <coughs> into 170 kW per day electricity. So it is very useful for the energy for production of the biogas means it also can produce the electricity. So I have taken this photo from the Thailand. So you can see here in the A grass collection and silage preparation. So it is a cultivation portion. So for production of the biogas, we should first we have to cultivate the IV napier. And for that, we have to know the forage production technology of the IV napier gas, or heavy IV napier crop. Then second is transportation of grasses. So they are transporting the IV napier from the factory. Then third one, we have to cross with the machine. So third one is a grass crushing machine. So here you can see it is a grass crushing machine. Then the last D1 is a small particle of grasses. So that can be used for the biogas production. So I have taken this uh, from the this paper grass, grass silage for biogas production of the Thailand of the 2000. 16. Recently, study of napier grass harvesting is influencing of biogas production. Biogas production of napier grass is influenced due to variety, hybrids of napier grass, soil type and climatic condition, nutrient management, cutting interval and harvesting age. Here we will discuss on harvesting age. The digestion of napier grass found at highest biogas Productivity of 208 LKG VS added was obtained for napier grass harvested at 45 days compared to 111 and 83 LKG VS added forage of 35 and 55 days respectively. However, at 55 days harvested, the grass biomass contained more concentration of retarding fractions such as lignin for approximately 6.09%. The increase in fiber component and decrease in digestibility with the advanced harvesting date had a negative impact on the specific methane yield, and this impact was similar across the Napier grass. Therefore, harvesting age of grass is a key consideration factor in biogas plant operation from grass biomethanation. So, we have to harvest the Napier grass for the biogas production at appropriate time. Otherwise, the yield has been declined. Study of methane production from napier grass at various cutting intervals. It also influences due to cutting interval. So digestion of napier grass at cutting interval of 30, 40, 5, 60, 90 days investigated in two stages, acidogenic and methogenic anaerobic reactor the methane yield obtained from napier grass at cutting interval of 30, 40, 60 and 90 days was 160, 127, 104 and 74 LHS PP per kg of dry napier grass added to the reactor as respectively, which indicated that 6.25, 7.87, 9.62 and 13.51 kg of dry napier grass respectively is needed to produce one cubic meter of pure methane. However, the grass yield at the cutting interval of 30, 40, 5, 60 and 90 days was 
tons dry weight per hectare per year respectively. When considering the grass yield of cultivation, the annual methane yield per area obtained from nephiric gas at the cutting interval of 30, 40, 60, and 90 days was 2,700, 4,763, 6,500, and 6,013 cubic meter per hectare per year respectively. Napier grass at the cutting interval of 60 days gave the highest methane yield of all various cutting intervals. Means, if we want to produce the maximum biogas, then we should have the harvest the IB Napier at 60 days interval. Thank you very much. You know that uh, a hybrid napier is a perennial crop and it is a multi cut, but it is a highly exhaustive crop. And therefore, they have recommended that you have to grow for transplanting the hybrid napier in fertile ground. Technology, forage production technology, is very important. And you know that uh, I have served in a main forest rotation on agricultural university for 25 years. And we have conducted the experiment on high napier. So we found that cutting management also, it influenced the green forage production due to cutting in the world, then uh, clipping height, then um, uh, nutrient management, then soil type. So all these factors are responsible for the productivity of the IV Napier. So I advise to the farmers that uh, when you transplant in the IV Napier in a field, then you have to add 10 to 20 metric ton farmyard manure per hectare. And you should have to apply the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium or micronutrient as per one soil test basis. So I advise that before transplanting, you have take the representative soil sample from the field and carry out the soil analysis. And on the basis of the soil test value, we should have to apply the nutrient in soil. Suppose your soil has a high phosphorus or rich in phosphorus, then there is no need to apply the phosphorus. But you know that uh, farmers are not carried out the soil analysis and they are applied nutrient. As per their wish resulted in, there will be the antagonistic effect among the nutrients in the soil. So the availability of the other nutrient has been declined. Therefore, soil analysis is required. It is a must. And another thing that uh, I am working as a chief soil health specialist at Sevama Agri Clinic and Agri Laboratory Bhavnagar. And we have the ICP OES scientific instruments, and it has the cost about rupees one crores. So we are carried out the soil analysis, plant analysis, water analysis, and recently we have started the microorganism on like uh, bacteria, fungi, and nematodes from the soil. So, in earlier stage, you can uh, detect the bacteria, fungi, or nematodes, and we can take the control, and we are getting the more crop production. So, if you have any uh, suggestion on Hybrid Napier, then uh, you will contact me, and uh, my email is uh, Patel PC12 at the rate of gmail.com. Again, I will repeat Patel PC12 at the rate of gmail.com. So, if you have any query on the forage crop production, particularly high bean apiar gas or other crops, I can uh, advise you. So, if you like my uh, video, then please subscribe me. Thank you very much.